is departing from Tip uh, the political party that he formed uh, two years before. Uh, the Triple C was left uh, with no president, uh, but obviously with the self-styled, they call him self-styled uh, interim secretary general uh, of the Triple C, that is your Sengezo uh, Chabang. Uh, greetings and welcome on your lovely channel, the Sean Panning Zube Music TV. If you're watching us for the first time, please do remember to press the red or black uh, subscribe button so that next time when we beam live, Guess what? You become the first one to watch us. Now, let's look at the facts. Uh, as soon as uh, Nelson Chamisa made it public, it appears he surprised a lot of people, uh, even the members of parliament. They were surprised. Some have been asking journalists on whether uh, Nelson Chamisa has really left the Triple C, uh, and it has been confirmed to them. Uh, we're expecting that quite a number of them, they were going to, 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 to follow their leader. <laughs> we have seen uh, really, really few uh, following their leader, Nelson Chamisa. Now, the biggest question is, will the will Professor Washman Mube or Tendai Biti uh, be bold enough to take uh, the leadership position and lead uh, Triple C as a political party? Uh, we have seen during the Sengezo Chaba Musaka, uh, and then let's go back before the elections were conducted. We saw Nelson Chamisa campaigning. Uh, alone towing the country, the, the ends of the country, uh, campaigning for the Triple C, and uh, these two were nowhere to be seen. They were not campaigning for the Triple C. West uh, Tendai BT lost uh, primary elections, uh, so he was totally out of the politics. Uh, we saw at one of the, was it the final rally in Harare, uh, some of the members touting the name of BT, but uh, Nelson Chamisa decided to ignore that. In spite of Professor Washman Mube as well as Tendai BT not partnering uh, the president of Triple C, uh, Nelson Chamisa, to campaign with him. In fact, we saw Nelson Chamisa bringing back uh, Togozani Kube, something that was questioned by uh, his uh, supporters. Togozani Kube, in fact, was the one assisting uh, Nelson Chamisa in uh, almost in, in to, to the rest of Matepelele, and particularly in rural uh, Matepelele. And she campaigned very, very well because uh, Triple C made inroads uh, in Matepelele. And thanks to uh, the role that was played by Dr. Togozani Kube. Uh, afterwards, we saw her pictures, uh, her health not in good shape. We hope uh, she is in good shape uh, these days. But now the biggest question uh, ever since Sengezo Chabang came into uh, the, 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 the factor, we had uh, the likes of Tendai Bitis. Uh, voice messages circulating on social media uh, indicating that Sengizu Chabang was actually quick to do this. Uh, Nelson Chamisa was going to, to self-crash in his in his own. That is the message that he was. And this message angered a lot of uh, the supporters of Triple C. It was paraded uh, all over uh, social media to suggest that uh, Tendai BT is behind Sengizu Chabang. We came uh, on, on that voice again he was telling the person he was discussing with that he will announce on Twitter uh, that he is not the president uh, of Triple C because uh, Sengizu Chabang had actually suggested uh, that he will take over as the president uh, of the Triple C. We saw him not even going to the media to just to talk with the media. In fact, the man uh, was quiet. Professor Walshman Mube, at some time, he was writing uh, wrinkles on his social media uh, account, uh, people attacking him. Uh, he never, he, and at one point, he was asked by one Triple C member on why is he quiet uh, when Sengizu Chabang uh, is actually taking the party down, uh, he answered and said, I will take part as who, uh, because I don't have a position within uh, the Triple C. Uh, Triple C doesn't have structures. Uh, I don't know what to do. So uh, if, if ever I'm speaking against Sengizu Chabang, I will be speaking against Sengizu Chabang as what? And also what was fun is that the legal attorneys who helped Sengizu Chabang, uh, they work for Professor uh, uh, 
uh, Welshmen members uh, love him. Uh, uh, in Zimbabwe, in a toxic political environment like Zimbabwe, definitely if you do that, uh, then you are said to be working with that person uh, you are representing. We saw also uh, the team of the lawyers of Sengezo Chabangu consisting of uh, Mnanga Kwas lawyer, uh, that is Uriri, uh, Louis Uriri, uh, and the I think that created a certain perception to the members of the public. We've heard as soon as Nelson Chamisa left Triple C, Senges Uchabang coming in saying Triple C uh, is, is, is not in short of leaders. We've heard also the current Harare Mayor uh, Mafume saying Triple C has uh, leaders. Definitely there will be in a position to fill uh, the vacuum left by uh, Nelson Chamisa. They can fill it with a personnel but the biggest question is, will that individual be as popular as Nelson Chamisa? I think in my view, not. Uh, Nelson Chamisa is still a, 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 a voice to reckon on, particularly in the politics of Zimbabwe. So we heard that today, uh, the Triple C will be announcing uh, the lead, new leadership of the Triple C. Uh, and we're asking ourselves exactly because Sengezo Chabang said they are actually reinstating uh, the Congress of the, the the Congress which was held in Guero and I've forgotten the year of the MTC alliance which elected Nelson Chamisa, Professor Walshman Mube, uh, uh, Tendai BT, as well as another lady as the vice presidents. They say they are actually putting back uh, that structure. So if they are putting back that structure, we are likely to see the likes of Tendai Viti and Professor Washburn uh, coming in as the leaders uh, of this political outfit. Uh, the biggest question, we've heard that they have been having meet meetings and uh, Professor Washburn Mube as well as Tendai Viti have been uh, attending uh, these meetings. And today, uh, the leader of that political party would be announced. The biggest question is who will lead this political party? Is this Professor Walshman Mube or is it uh, Tendai uh, BT? Uh, we, we are still waiting for Senges Ochabangu to make uh, these pronouncements as he has been the front uh, of those who are opposed to Nelson Chamis. I think this will give us a clear uh, on who is uh, who was uh, working against the, uh, Nelson Chamisa and uh, who uh, actually uh, has been working uh, closely uh, with Nelson uh, Chamisa. We've seen Charlton Wende working with uh, Tendai BT to the court of um, uh, 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 this guy who is in prison, uh, uh, who has been in prison for quite a long time, uh, and um, uh, that suggested that they are good relations because two cannot work together unless uh, they agree. So the biggest question will Tendai BT or Professor Walshman take over as the leader of the leaders of the Triple C? If that is the fact, uh, will they be able to take the Triple C uh, forward? Uh, that is the biggest question uh, in the Zimbabwean politics. Also, uh, ZANU-PF understand that these two are weak uh, in terms of uh, getting uh, Zimbabweans to rally uh, behind them. Nelson Chamisa is still the fact, especially the way uh, he has been forced to go or to exit uh, this political party, uh, definitely it angered a lot of troops. See, uh, supporters. So as much as they will take over, uh, it will be for the next five years, they will be in control of parliament. Uh, but any decision that they take, because uh, this situation we have arrived at, uh, ZANU-PF has done them uh, some form of favors. So people will begin to think that this is an opposition political party that is under the hands uh, of ZANU-PF. Uh, and uh, they would not trust such kind of a political party. Uh, if I be honest, they, won't, they wouldn't trust uh, this uh, kind of outfit. So Nelson Chamisa will still remain uh, relevant. They understand this. Uh, even ZANU-PF understand this. That is why the other uh, aspect of uh, the, the warfare against Triple uh, C is to specifically target Nelson Chamisa as an individual. That is what ZANU-PF is looking forward uh, to do, to get away, uh, to get Get rid of the, the man because the man has a lot of people 
behind him, uh, supporting him? Will they be successful in getting rid of him? Their intentions have been exposed. We have exposed this intention. Will they continue uh, to carry forward this intention, knowing very, very well uh, that the people are now aware of their plot, the plot that they are trying uh, to do? And when us, we are our political analysts and putting this in the public domain, uh, definitely the international community also is becoming aware. Will they continue with this uh, nonsense? Uh, we will wait to see, and we are waiting with anticipation, the new leadership of the Triple C. Thank you very much for watching us. If you are watching us for the first time, please do remember.